Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix this Porter Conaline van. Anybody that owns a 97 or newer Porter Conaline van may experience a loss in heating and air conditioning out of the vents on the dashboard temporarily when they're under a heavy acceleration or heavy load. Once you let go of the gas, the air conditioning or heat comes back, you get a hot or cold blast. It's quite an annoyance. I wouldn't say it's an absolute necessary fix. But if you were to take it to Ford dealership, it's about a thousand dollar repair. It's mostly labor. The parts cost under fifty dollars. But uh, this accumulator and a little check valve winds up going bad, and you lose vacuum temporarily. Engine starves the system of vacuum. Now, once you restore vacuum by letting go of the gas or getting up that hill, uh, you get the air conditioning back. But this is buried underneath the dashboard. The whole dashboard has to come back out of the vehicle the whole heater box has to come out this has to get put in the new valve and then all the way back in so it's all labor intensive i'm going to show you how to bypass the one underneath the dash and we're going to install this elsewhere i watched a whole bunch of youtube videos everybody had a different approach i think i collected some of the best and i'm just going to do it in one simple video these are the items you're going to need to purchase the accumulator reservoir from ford eighth inch vacuum tubing, the air conditioning valve, and some vacuum connectors. All these things were able to be found on Amazon and I got them all for under $50. After you've purchased all the items I mentioned, you want to come up and open up the hood and find the vacuum line. And it's located next to this oil, oil fill cap. And you can see here there's a little connection. This is the line that goes into the heater box and then this line you can see it's a little bit red here that goes right to the engine. So this is where the vacuum's coming from. We're going to disconnect this portion here. We're going to feed this through the doghouse and use it on the inside and we're going to abandon this piece, this line right here. Now we're going to use part of it once we go back inside uh, the van but we're going to abandon this portion here. Now we're inside the passenger compartment of the van. We're gonna pull this plate off, the sticker plate. Pull from the bottom. Up, that comes off very easily. You wanna grab an eight millimeter socket and take this plate off. Four bolts total. Okay, these are sharp too, so be careful. Once you get that plate off, you want to come in with a 10 millimeter socket and take the top bracket bolt off that goes into the doghouse. And the bracket that holds the dash, dashboard to the doghouse. I'm going to leave the bottom bolt in place. Then we're going to pull the doghouse back a few inches. After you have the doghouse pulled back, what you want to do is locate the red vacuum line that we disconnected underneath the hood, the end that it goes into the engine, and then pull back on the rest of it. Now this might be in a bracket underneath the hood, so you might have to uh, relieve it from there so you can pull it through. And we're going to take this end off here, and that top bracket that we took that bolt out of, what we're going to use is just the hole from it. Instead of drilling a hole through the doghouse, but we're going to poke through the insulation with this screwdriver right here. Okay, and then we're going to feed this through that hole. And uh, you just have to line it up so it goes through the threads of this piece on the doghouse. There we go. Now I'm going to pull back some of this uh, loom here. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to use the check valve we bought, uh, it's a Ford check valve, we're going to slide this back on here, we're going to put this piece on the black side, just like that. Okay, the next step, down by the floor here on the passenger side compartment next to the doghouse. 
we have to locate the black vacuum line. Now it might vary in color depending on your model year, but I did some due diligence. I made sure there's two lines here. This is the one that comes from the accumulator that's bad and we're just gonna utilize it by cutting it. Now uh, you could also, before you cut it, there's a little access panel on the top of the dashboard that you could take off and you could see that black line go into the valve assembly. So I already know this is the one to cut. So I'm just gonna cut it, the snips here. Okay. And here's the, the end right there. Now what we're gonna do is use some of the pieces recycled from underneath the hood that we're not using anymore. Put it on the end that feeds up into the dash. Just make that connection right here. Slide the tube inside the small end. It's gonna be a tight fit. But you wanna make sure it's tight so you have proper vacuum. Then the new vacuum line that we bought, we're gonna slide this end over here and I cut it to about 12 inches. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take this end and this end here and make that connection. Nice and tight. Okay, then we're gonna take some of the vacuum line that I purchased, only need a small section, cut about six inches. And we're going to go from here, right into the accumulator. Make sure it gets on all the way. And then what we're going to utilize is one of the bolts for the bracket on the dashboard here. We're going to run through the side of the accumulator. We're going to relocate it here and it'll still fit and everything will go back together. So we're just bypassing the one inside the heater box and putting it out of the heater box. So what I'm going to do is uh, make sure I don't pinch that vacuum line. I take my 10 millimeter run that in at a bracket. So this bracket's still in place. You still got one bolt here. The upper bolt's removed so we could run the vacuum line through. It's gonna snug. You don't want to snug it too tight uh, because you could crack the plastic. Then we're gonna tuck all this up nice and neat into the dashboard. And then we're gonna put the plate back on. And that was that eight millimeter. You want to tighten it with tighten it with your fingers first before you put a wrench on it. Now we just have to slide the doghouse back on and put on the panel. Sometimes this part could be the most challenging part to get everything lined up. Line up the bottom first, line up the pins, snap it in place. Now you can test the system to make sure it's working properly. under load. Okay, so before when I go to get onto this traffic on the highway here, I go to accelerate. Right about here, it would cut off and I'd have nothing that's continuing to come out. Perfect. So as soon as 
as I would let off right around here, I'll get a blast of cold air. Now it's continuous. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'd love it. I'll see you soon.